All new tonight at six with St. Patrick's Day coming up. It's time to remember a Buffalo born entertainer who did a lot for the Irish American community and whose songs are still sung today. Our main man Mike Randall has the story. It's a grand old tune performed here by the East Aurora String Quartet and Owen Sullivan. When I wish I smiling. If you thought when Irish eyes are smiling was an Irish import, you would be wrong. Newsflash, it was Buffalo's own Chauncey Alcott that wrote that song and many more. Author historian Tim Bowen has written extensively about the Buffalo born great Irish tenor. Chauncey Alcott actually was born and raised in the Canal District, the rough and tumble neighborhood. Chauncey's Irish mother wanted him to be a tugboat captain, but according to Tim, Chauncey wanted to become a star, and he did. And by the end of his life, it's said that he had performed in front of millions of people, Irish and non-Irish. We met up with Tim at the Irish Center. That's a statue of Chauncey right outside. He was able to make this connection with people that really had suffered trauma from the Great Famine, as well as the displacement of having to leave their homeland to come to America. Tim has quite a collection of Chauncey Alcott memorabilia. Uh, playing cards and Chauncey Alcott dolls. Back in the day, Chauncey's face and his name were everywhere and on everything. He was a decent actor, but it was really his voice that would audiences would just be in tears at the end of his performance. Tim says Chauncey Alcott left a bigger legacy than just his memorable tunes like Mother McCree, My Wild Irish Rose, and Irish Lullaby. He was able to elevate the perception that other people had of Irish people who were still really discriminated and looked down upon at the end of the 19th century. If you'd like to hear some of Chauncey's great Irish American tunes performed, Owen and his brother, Michal, have a big show coming up March 16th at the First Presbyterian Church of East Aurora. All the world seems bright and gay. Tim Bowen says he may eventually donate his Chauncey Alcott collection to the Irish Center, the perfect place to remember an iconic Buffalo Irish American. Mike Randall, 7 News, Buffalo.